first time I hired a helper, I went through a website where people can advertise themselves and then employers can look through those advertisements. Hundreds and hundreds of um, applicants every day on those and so it was really like a needle in a haystack. The first bad practice is to not be a legit employment agency, so not have a valid license. For this, uh, employers who want to employ a domestic worker can go either on their website or on their social media pages to check their agency number. In the end, we did find someone and we made it work, but it wasn't a really good match for, for her and for us check the accreditation from the relevant uh, government consulate. Especially for Filipino workers and Indonesian workers, they need a separate accreditation. Also check about the price. They shouldn't be really offering any unusually low price because that may hint that they are also separately charging workers. I think it would be great if the agencies themselves would be able to educate people more. Because if people know that there's a difference, they would, I would imagine they would want to choose the one that was more fair and you know, helpful to people, not putting people in debt.